Now we're going to do an example question, the kind of thing that you'll be doing on your assignment. And you will need a piece of paper and you'll need a ruler. So uh, hit pause if you need to and go get that stuff because it's very helpful to do this step by step. Remember, you can pause the video, draw stuff on yours, and then continue the video as you go along. In this case, what you need to do is be able to create your entire diagram. So you're going to start off using your ruler in order to create your diagram, the, the basics of it. And it's important to read. It says you're going to create a scale diagram to find the image, distance, and size of the image when a 2 centimeter high object is placed 5 centimeters from a converging lens with a focal length of 3 centimeters. So I'm going to start by just drawing myself my... Uh, actual diagram. So for me, I can cheat a little and use my system that I've got going on. But you, of course, will do something very similar and create yourself a diagram. So the first thing you need is a lens down the middle. So create yourself a lens, your line with the pointy ends. Remember, the ends are pointy because it shows it's a converging lens, because that means the center is smaller than the middle. And then I'm going to put on my principal axis, you're going to use this as well. It's just a line 90 degrees to your lens, right? So that these line up at 90 degrees. Excellent. Then I need to put on my actual focal points. And that means I'm going to have to use my ruler. That's what my ruler's for. It says to find an image, distance and size of the image when a two centimeter high object is placed five centimeters from a converging lens with a focal length of three. So I'm gonna start off by just moving my ruler in place. I'm gonna bring my ruler to the, well, there we go. Put my ruler in place. And at the three centimeter mark, I'm going to put my first focal point. So I'm just going to make it a dot. It doesn't have to be fancy, right? Just visible. So I need a dot here at three centimeters. There we go. And then I need one on the other side as well, because remember there's an axis on both sides. So there's a focal point on both sides. So put that right at three. And then on the other side, I'm going to put my dot here. That's my other focal point. And that will make sure that they are the same distance. So there's F prime and there is F ready to go. Now I can read the next part. The next part says I need to put a two centimeter high object five centimeters from the lens. So it doesn't really matter which side I put it on, but I tend to put them on this side. So I'm going to put it on this side. I'm just going to start by making a little mark here so that I can uh, locate that five centimeters. So I've moved it so it's five centimeters out. So there we go. That's where I'm going to put my object. And my object needs to be three centimeters high, which means I need to rotate my, I always have to think about how to do this on this program. There we go. I need to make this the other way so that I can move it over. Whoops, undo, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want a two centimeter high object. So two centimeter high object right there. So that will let me put my object in. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be my object. It's in the right place and it is now the right height. Excellent. So I'm going to move my ruler out of the way. Excellent. Now I can draw my three lines. Same three lines I did before. I've constructed my own diagram. That's all. It's the only real difference here. So rule number one, no problem. I already know how to do it. Done it a bunch of times. Straight in. And then in the middle, I'm going to bend down through the focal point. Excellent. Rule number two, also no problem. I'm going to go through the top of the object through the secondary focal point, and in the middle of my lens, I'm going to straighten her out. Voila. And then rule number three is also no problem. Top of the object, right through the middle, and good to go. I can now describe my image, right? Because I can draw it in, and I can describe my image and go from there, just like we've been doing before. Put in your image, and I would say this image is larger, inverted, I would say it's about the same distance, and it is definitely real.